And so Dad went to that meeting and he pitched his idea for a character of an earnest but overexcitable deputy, and Barney Fife was born. <laughs> Yes. Dad worked on that show five days a week, up to 12 hours a day. We hardly saw him, but sometimes he'd take us to work with him. And I have some memories. Oh, boy. I love coming to the set of downtown Mayberry, seeing the courthouse and the barbershop and the pharmacy. Wow. It looks very real from the front. But when I go into a building, there's just a bunch of lights and cables. Just like the Wizard of Oz, it isn't real. But I love talking to the cast. They're always so warm and welcoming, especially Betty Lynn Belmaloo. She always comes over and gives me a big hug. You can see how warm and friendly she is. And I love talking to Ronnie Howard, OB. We're the same age, seven, but he's not like any of the other kids I know. He's got the reddest hair of any boy I know. Oh, I don't have a crush on him or anything. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> but he's not like any of the other kids. For one thing, he has his own little schoolhouse right on the set and a private teacher to do his bidding. <laughs> then I heard a voice. It was a voice I knew and I loved. It was the voice of Aunt B. Oh, I turned around and looked. She was smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I actually went up to her and I said, Aunt B, you're smoking. She went, that's right, kid. I'm still a hot chick. <laughs> that's not what I was expecting. And then Jim Neighbors Gomer comes up behind me, picks me up, and he was really strong. He lifts me up over his head. Wow, I feel like I'm flying. Like everybody down there is smaller than me. <laughs> I think everybody thought it was kind of fun, except for that time the crew had to clean up after I got sick on the Gomer coaster. <laughs> oh, those were my happy days.